it's one of those evolving projects so this started out as in the living room the family's taking up the living room space I needed to come up with a computer option so I could still game and wife was like hey you gotta stop hogging the living room so we built this and I was able to put this in my bedroom this is my bedroom PC worked fantastic but the problem I had with it was that well it was loud graphics card was getting loud the fan was getting loud and yeah it wasn't getting the job done so in a previous video I was testing the coolers to find out a better cooler cooling option for it and long story short the gigabyte motherboard went bad yeah that kind of sucked I guess it was a good thing it was the a520 IAC and I'm not sure what happened with it or made it back it's gonna take like two three weeks and I could use that just as a spare testing motherboard so for now I have this RG Strix X570i that I ordered a lot better and should definitely hold up. Now for the cooler, I really wanted to go with the, Sh the Scythe Shuriken 3, but when I put it together, I noticed that it was kind of pushing on this and I didn't like that pressure. The Scythe Sh Shuriken 3 actually sits a lot higher. Let's see if I can find it compared to the ID cooling one. And you can kind of see it right there off, but yeah this one sits a little higher but the big shuriken 3 from scythe has a way better fan than this id cooling one this fan is just loud and obnoxious and i'm not 100 percent sure if it provides that much airflow but the id cooling but the scythe cooler did perform a lot better so i don't know if it was an issue of just the cooler or the fan so what i decided to do is just frankenstein it took the id cooler and just put the scythe shuriken 3 fan on it and i think that's going to work fantastic Although I am deleting the RGB from my system, which is going to impact my performance and make my computer useless, at least it'll run quieter. A few upgrades I am going to add to this. This is the Ryzen 7 5700, courtesy of Silver Knights PC, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Definitely check them out if you're in the Fayetteville area. Fantastic store, fantastic business and people to deal with. Um, huge shout out and thanks to them. This is my GeForce RTX 3080, and I think I did a separate video on it. I don't know, I haven't kept up lately. But I have bought this one for $300 on the Facebook Marketplace. They originally wanted five. A week later, they came back and said, hey, well, we negotiated to three. Only thing I had to do with it was take it apart, fresh thermal pads, new thermal paste. Thing runs fantastic. But initially, this thing was very loud. My storage, I had a five, uh, 512 gig. M.2 upgraded to this crucial one, one terabyte PCIe 3.0 NVMe. This will be definitely more than enough before because honestly a lot of these new games were filling up that 512 so at least this will keep things good and the fractal nose so if you notice it is not in its original glory so I found that the graphics card was kind of getting choked off right over here there was nothing to kind of help with just releasing that hot air so I did the right thing and just cut it open with the cheapest component I could find on Amazon and that's going to work fantastic. The temperatures I was hitting with the graphics cards between the poor thermal paste and this was thermal throttle upwards of 100 uh, degrees Celsius, which was terrible. Couldn't even run the graphics card. Couldn't even use this computer. And then as loud as it was, um, that was one of the reasons why my wife said, you need to kind of quiet this thing down. You're too loud. So, yeah, I like the way it looks. I know this design is to be desired. You either love it or hate it. But for $20, look at all that see-through airflow so i think we'll be just fine on that should get the job done and of course this little paint job i just like this color i went with a peacock blue this is the ink matte blue on it and um i have a separate video just showing how i did this little mod on it so you can definitely check that out so now before we go to the whole montage and everything we need to test this because putting itx computers together is annoying because it's kind of cramped in no space so to kind of address that we're going to mount the motherboard up here put the cpu on put the cooler on boot it make sure we got a screen once we're ensured that everything is working then we'll pop it in the case and i'll do the whole montage thing so let's kind of roughly set this up so let's do a little unboxing of this i use asus boards i've used their strix boards but i've never had a strix itx look how small it is nice little compact flavor and what else do we got? We got our one, two. That is quite strange. I got two IO shields. So, um, yeah, thanks. <clears throat> one, two, three. What are these? Okay. All right. Bunch of stuff in here that I just don't know what it is, but 
I'm sure it's in the destructions and I'm gonna just do the right thing and just not read the destructions and just um, figure this out as I go and just break things. So we'll do that. All right, so let's mount the CPU, the cooler, and let's make sure this thing works. Very nice looking motherboard. So let's get off these brackets. CPU. Make sure you match up the Legend of Zelda triangles. Gotta get that Triforce. All right, let's take off our cover for our M.2. All right, mounted the CPU off camera primarily because, well, it's a pain in the butt to mount. You got to flip it upside down, the cooler and all that stuff. Got it put together loosely. Want to make sure this thing boots up. So got everything plugged in. Let's flip the power supply. Is the RG logo emanating? It sure is. Let's jump the pins. There we go. And hopefully we get a screen, which we should. I mean, I did rule that it was the motherboard, unless my diagnostics was wrong. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in like a few seconds. Got the whole debug thing going on. So we got some yellow. We got red. That's not good. It's gone. White, yellow. Wait, come on. Come on. Can a guy just get a post? White, green. Yeah awesomeness nope wait it's rebooting keep boot cycling I mean we get a pose but we're boot cycling like crazy now typically from what I understand these motherboards they have to like recalibrate or calculate the memory or whatever it is so it is possibly doing that all right perfect Ryzen 7 5700 our 16 gigs of memory we are golden and I don't have a keyboard over here so we're good to go, which confirms that, yes, my motherboard did go bad. Gigabyte, you suck. So let's put it together. After a couple of weeks, this project is finally done. Had its ups and downs, but I'm glad I'm done with it because I'm ready to start using it, gaming with it, and not just have it sitting around the garage in pieces. So let's talk about this a little bit. So now the point of this build was the fact that the family's been doing a lot of family stuff in the living room, which we do family stuff together, but every now and then they start watching some stuff or doing some stuff that is not entertaining. And because my main computer is in the living room, so I can enjoy the big TV, wasn't able to game too much. So I built this to help accommodate that. Now in the first reiteration of this, I found that it had some limitations and some things that I was not a fan of. Number one, it got hot. And when you have heat, you have noise. And when you have heat and noise, People complain and not only that your gaming experience kind of goes down so 
the graphics card kept on getting real toasty the cpu was getting toasty fans were going full beans and yeah not audible when you have to turn up your volume real loud just to hear it i mean this thing was full thermal throttling and yeah that was just not working the biggest offender was the 3080 fe over here as in the fractal node 202 this is all blocked off and with that being blocked off and the way this card is designed, you got no airflow or exhaust and you only have whatever perforations they have in the back. So I decided to go with this. I actually did this on another build, it cost $20 and this made a huge difference in temps. Now, one of the biggest issues I had was actually the CPU cooler. Um, I was using the ID cooling, worked fantastic, had the Scythe Shuriken 3 and that one worked a little better, but the clearance was questionable. I didn't like having the little bulge over here and it was, a little tight in there but the big shuriken 3 from scythe their fan was actually a lot quieter and a lot better and i was able to pipe pop that on the id cooling and that actually helps to cool a lot better and also helps with the noise as that fan is a lot quieter and then of course while i'm cutting away i decided the whole black thing although nice i decided to add a little color with it this is the ink matte blue i believe it's called yeah the ink matte blue I like the way it looks. It doesn't pop too much. So as I put it in the bedroom, it's not too much of an eyesore if you want one of those wild colors on it. So I definitely like the color choice that I decided to go with. The whole black with this, subtle, clean, it works. Gaming and performance on this thing, fantastic. 1080p performance, able to get consistent frames per second, no drops, the temperatures are a lot better. And this is not gonna be my main rig. I mean, technically it could be the main rig. I mean, I had the opportunity, blessed and fortunate to be able to do it. So I'm very thankful for that. And of course, I couldn't do that without you guys. So now that I'm done, what is the future of this? I think I'm done with this. I'm definitely uh, done. I'm not going to be doing too much upgrades, but then again, we all say that as enthusiasts that, hey, we're done with our rig and then something else comes up or an opportunity for it. Maybe in the future, if a Ryzen 9 5900 or something comes up real cheap, maybe we might consider going to that. The 3080 is more than enough means, and I think that's a graphics card I'll hold in this for a while. So definitely comment down below. Thoughts, concerns, criticisms, input, suggestions. Um, I've had a lot of suggestions and honestly, a lot of the ideas and suggestions actually came from reading the comments with you guys. I know a bunch of people mentioned doing this, a bunch of people have talked about the fan thing, which I will entertain doing. The ID cooler actually came a suggestion from a bunch of viewers that said, hey, this is the cooler that you wanna go with. And they work fantastic and I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe if you're not, and as always, we'll see what we come up with next.